Welcome back to Infigam, my dear friends. In this video, we are going to take up another very, very interesting question from algebraic expressions. We have to simplify this radical expression without using a calculator. So let's get started by considering this expression equal to e first. Now we can write e equal to a square root of a square root of 4 power 12, we can write 4 power 3 times 4 plus 6 power 8, we can write 6 power 2 times 4 plus 10 power 8, we can write 10 power 2 times 4 over 2 minus 3 times 48 we can write 8 times 6 whole square this will be equal to a square root of a square root of 4 power 3 times 4 as we all know a power b times c can be written as a power b whole power c so I will be writing here, this is 4 cube and then whole power 4 plus 6 a square and then whole power 4 plus 10 a square whole power 4 over 2 minus 3 times this is 8 a square times 6 a square. Now 4 cube is 64, 6 a square is 36, 10 a square is 100. So we will be writing a square root of, a square root of 64 power 4 plus 36 power 4 plus 100 power 4 over 2 minus 3 times 8 a square is 64. 6 a square is 36. Let me write this expression E here. Now we will consider 64 equal to A. 36 equal to B. So I can write 100 equal to 64 plus 36. So this will be a plus b. So our expression we can write will be expression e square root of square root of 64 this will be a power 4. 36 power 4 will be b power 4. 100 power 4 in this place we can write a plus b whole power 4 denominator is 2 here minus 3 times this is a this is b now we will consider this is square root segment equal to x so ultimately we are looking for square root of x minus 3ab so i will write here e equal to square root of x minus 3 a b where x is the square root of a power 4 plus b power 4 plus a plus b whole power 4 over 2. So we have to simplify x first. So I will use binomial expansion for a plus b whole power 4 which we know this is a power 4 plus b power 4 plus 4a cube b plus 4ab cube plus 6 times a square b square. So we will get x equal to the square root of 
a power 4 plus b power 4 we will write as it is now our expansion so it will start with a power 4 plus b power 4 plus 4a cube b plus 4ab cube plus 6a square b square over 2. Now I will take 2 common from the numerator. We will get 2 times in the bracket a power 4 plus b power 4. Then I will write plus 2a cube b. Then we can write plus 2a b cube. Then 6 over 2 will be 3a square b square. Bracket is closed. Denominator will be 2. Now this 2 and numerator 2 will be over. So we will get x equal to a square root of a power 4 we can write a square whole square. b power 4 we can write b square whole square. Then 3a square b square I will write a square b square plus 2a square b square. Overall this is 3a square b square. Then we can write 2a cube b plus 2ab cube term. Let me write here x will be equal to square root of I will write a square whole square plus b square whole square. Then a square b square will be writing a b whole square. Then we will write 2a square b square as 2 times a square times b square. Then I will consider 2ab cube term which we will write 2 times b square times ab. And then we will be writing 2a cube b term which will be 2 times ab times a square. Now you can see this is one algebraic identity. If I will write m square plus n square plus r square plus 2mn plus 2nr plus 2rm. This will be equal to m plus n plus r whole square. This is one algebraic formula and our radicand is matching with the same. So I can write here x will be equal to square root of a square plus b square plus a b whole square. Now this is square root and square will be over. We will get x equal to a square plus b square plus a b. Let me write here x equal to a square plus b square plus a b and our expression in terms of x if we will write this was a square root of x minus 3 a b. Let us put the value of x we will get a square root of a square plus b square plus a b then minus 3 a b. This will be equal to square root of a square plus b square minus 2ab, which is again one formula. This is a minus b whole square. Again, we can cancel a square root with a square. We will get our final answer a minus b in terms of a and b. Now we have to put the values of a and b. So let me write here e equal to a minus b. a was 64, 
B was 36. So I can write our answer will be 64 minus 36. This will be equal to 28. So I can write my final answer is 28. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to subscribe our channel. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Goodbye.